Jesus, take the wheel. Dear God, give me strength because I cannot go to jail today. You guys, seriously. Man, my heart is beating like a million miles per hour. I was just in the grocery store, okay? Which I frequent a lot because I need a lot of shit. I have two boys. And I just saw, witnessed a Karen in the flesh, okay? For all of you people, that, all of you chicks named Karen that get uh, offended, sorry, not sorry. It's a fucking joke. It's a meme. Chill out. It's just a joke. But I saw a fucking Karen just now in the flesh. I'm checking out at the grocery store. Got all my shit on the belt. I see this chick in the corner. Now, you have to remember, I this grocery store, because I go there a couple times a week for what I need, I know everyone there, all the workers, everybody. I love them. They love me. They're cool peeps, okay? So I'm watching my girl that works at the store behind the counter. This Karen comes up to her. Obviously, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about because I'm in my, um, I'm checking out my food, you know, in the with the cashier. So I'm just peeping this from a distance, okay? This chick is standing in front of my girl who works there and she's complaining to her. I couldn't really see what the hell she had. I think she had some cheese. I think she had from what it looked like. She had like that packaged cheese. It was a slice of the cheese that come in a package, but she had like some type of fucking paper taped on there or something. I don't know what it was, but she was going on and on and on about this fucking cheese. And she was like in my girl's face in the worker's face. And when she was going on and on about the cheese, I'm, I'm guessing she wanted to return the cheese. And I kept hearing her say something about, oh, November, November. It's the date says November. It's, it's, uh, maybe it was supposed to expire in November. I don't know. But she like just kept on going and going and clearly wouldn't take no for an answer. And I'm guessing what transpired, if I'm correct, is probably she wanted to return his cheese for whatever reason. And it probably expired in November, which... I don't know. Maybe that's a clue right there. If you have cheese and it expires in November, I don't know. But um, I'm guessing because of this whole fucking COVID stuff, they won't take stuff back for, you know, food, whatever. And it's rightfully so. Like, no one wants your cheese taken back with your crusty ass hands on it, whether it was open or not. So it's whoop de doo like $3.50, $4, maybe $5 tops. Like, eat the shit. You lost $5. It's okay. It'll be okay. I promise. Judging by the clothes you had on, you can probably afford the $5. But she just wouldn't let it go. And so my girl was like trying to tell her to back the fuck up. And at one point, she I saw my girl put her hand up like, you need to get the fuck out of my face. So finally, this bitch got a clue, backed up, then decided, okay, I'm going to try, you know, the chick next, right next to her at the other end of the service desk. So went over there. Now, mind you, if you know me, or you'll get to know me, I wanted to walk my happy ass over there so bad. Like, I was getting ready to go over to my girl and be like, dude, is there a problem? Like, it just, it pissed me off, man. Like, of all the fucking things to worry about, and, and part of the reason I'm making this video is because it really dawned on me that I'm sure I've been a Karen many a fucking times, and after just witnessing this shit go down, I'm like, dude, I'm going to like be very conscious of the, the, my inner Karen and that bitch is not coming out anymore for real. Like it was embarrassing to watch you guys. It was ridiculous over some fucking cheese. Like she was making a scene over some cheese. Like of all the fucking things to worry about, you're going to worry about them take, not taking back your cheese and assuming that's what it was, but that's sure what it looked like. So anywho, she goes next, next, moves her happy ass right on down. No, I'm not going to call it happy ass because that's what I refer to myself. Moves her dumb ass all the way down to the other side of the service desk and starts complaining to this other chick. So again, the reason I call her a fucking Karen is because clearly, I mean, she made a big stink about it in the first place, but then she went next to the next chick. And just would not take no for an answer. So I see this other girl, this poor girl, getting her walkie-talkie out, calling whoever, and finally, probably just to shut her the fuck up, like, granted her wish and gave her her money back or did whatever. Because I heard the lady like, oh, I know, I know, I realize that, I realize that, I know, I know. So this is the problem, people. This bitch 
complained and complained and complained to the point where literally just to shut her the fuck up, they gave in and they gave her her money back or, or I don't know, maybe they gave her a fucking credit gift card. Maybe they had her go exchange it for some cheese. I don't know. But the point is, it's like if you bitch enough and you're a big enough asshole, then eventually people succumb to you and they give you what you want. Now, a little tiny part of me can appreciate, like, the persistence. Not with her, just saying in general, like, but let it be over something important, man. Like, if I bought a fucking, I don't know, I can't even think of an example, because it's just like, I'm so turned off right now. But anyway, again, I'm rambling, but the whole point of this video is, again, me taking accountability, because that's what I'm about these days. Um, I've been to Karen a couple of times, probably more than I'd like to admit or count, but after seeing that shit, dude, I can assure you that the Karen in me is fucking, I, I'm putting that bitch to rest. She is done because that shit was just hard to watch. And again, if the guy wasn't bagging my baggeries and I, or bagging my baggeries, bagging my groceries and I didn't have to put my number in and tell him what kind of bags I wanted and all that stuff, I probably would have walked my happy ass over there and help my girl out and uh, probably when it ended well. So I'm kind of glad that uh, I had a distraction. But anyway, peace out, peeps. Hope you're having a good Saturday. I just couldn't resist. Honestly, I wish I could have gotten the whole shit on tape. But again, I was busy. So I did get a picture of her, though. Fucking look like a Karen, too. Have a good day.